So you tried to do some crazy things with your tablet and now you bricked it. And the thing is not booting up anymore. No hard drive found, no boot disk. How to fix? In this video you will learn how to fix any Windows 8.1 tablet the official way. The way it should be fixed. Okay, this is the deal. You need the OTG cable. That's a little micro USB to female USB cable. You plug it into your tablet and make sure you also get a little hub, a USB hub, thing like this. Stick in a mouse, stick in a keyboard and of course the USB stick with the restore files and you will be able to boot from the USB stick. It will boot itself, you don't have to do anything. It will just boot straight up to the installer. Because I bricked my tablet while installing Android, I might try to see if I can fix it. So let's just hit uh, fix this tablet and see how far we will come. But I have a bad feeling. Well, we could go ahead and look at how this thing will tell us that it cannot be repaired. So let's just skip that all and go to the actual installing. Okay, the second time around. Uh, I just failed here, so I'm gonna hard press the tablet off. And we're gonna reboot it. And we're rebooting, of course, with a stick. We don't have to do anything. It will go completely automatically. It will start booting from the stick, you know, because the Windows uh, on it is not responding. There is no drive there that is saying, yo, you got the boot from me. So then it will automatically boot from the stick. Up here, we're going to choose our currency that should be Dutch, Netherlands. We hit next. And um, we're going to do a custom install, a custom install, meaning that, in fact, we're going to create... Uh, our own partition uh, on this machine and we're waiting a second there I'm also gonna remove the little SD card out of it because we have Android installed on there <laughs> I don't want to by accident uh, kill it again because otherwise I have to go ahead and install Android again on the thing I don't want to do that so Android is in fact installed now on the SD card and we're fixing Windows again up here we're gonna delete all the partitions okay we're just gonna hit delete 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 until we have one partition left and I'm planning to create one partition of 20 gigabytes okay and um, the other 10 gigabytes I'm gonna leave open like unformatted you know unpartitioned and maybe you know um, I will find a way to still get Linux to install for instance on that partition you know so that's uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna hit next and uh, we're gonna let the installer begin and so shall it be done okay everything went right but then the tablet went off so it did the installing it was waiting for me i was copying some drivers but uh here i'm booting up the tablet uh we fixed the tablet people um it's hanging to the power of course the touch screen won't work because the drivers are not installed need to go ahead and install them all so you know what um i'm not even gonna look hey what is that Oh, that is in the wallpaper. Looked like my screen was cracked. <laughs> I was like, what the crap is that? This is a brand new tablet, you know, at least still like new. Um, but then again, I'm going to turn it off, peeps, because uh, I'm going to let the battery, you know, uh, fill up a bit because it's really empty. And then, you know, I can go ahead and install the drivers and do all sorts of little crazy things to make it a fun tablet to use again so let's get back to the studio so that's it really easy huh? 
just pop in the USB stick that you created in Power ISO and boom, the thing will restore. And this is the original and official way to fix any bricked Windows 8.1 tablet. Uh, for those still wondering how to get a Windows 8.1 uh, DVD, well, you can go to Microsoft, log in with your Hotmail account, and then just look for um, Windows 8.1 Enterprise Edition download. Select that and uh, download it, fill in the form, you know, and you will be downloading Windows 8.1 Developers Edition. If you have a developer's account, I think everyone can get it. I'm not even sure, so sh let me know about that in the comments if you could get it with your uh, normal Hotmail account as well. Uh, if so, uh, if not, then yeah, I think, I don't know what you should do. I think then you maybe you should buy a Windows 8.1 somewhere. It's not so expensive anymore. You can get them cheap versions. And if your tablet is below nine inch, I think you can get Windows 8.1 completely free. This was my video for today. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe.